the release of Pokemon's newest set, Crown Zenith, marks the end of the Sword and Shield era of Pokemon cards. And today, we're going to be opening one pack from every single Sword and Shield set and simultaneously ranking them from the very worst all the way to the very best. And so, we're going to start by opening up the lowest tier packs and slowly work our way up to the very best sets in Sword and Shield. But before we do, if it's your first time here, my name is Luke, and after 20 years, I got back into collecting Pokemon cards to chase that feeling of nostalgia from my childhood. So I invite you to come along the journey with me by hitting that subscribe button below. But there are 17 sets total in the Sword and Shield block, so we're going to be opening all 17 packs today, starting with number 17, which is Rebel Clash. That's right, Rebel Clash is the worst set of the Sword and Shield era. Let's go ahead and open it up. But man, this is a rough set. There really are zero chase cards in the entire set. And, uh, you know, if you have the opportunity to open it, honestly, it's not really worth your money. Uh, because most of the cards in this set are actually for... But they're kind of more playable cards for the game. So I guess if you're a player, it might make sense to open it up. Uh, however, you know, it's probably just a, even a better value just to buy these cards and these singles on TCG Player. But let's go through this real quick. Again, we don't even know what we're looking for because there's absolutely no chase card. Reverse Halucha, but we did end up with a Rillaboom V. Again, this is probably uh, as good as it gets as far as the set goes. It's not really that great of a card. There is a Galarian Perserker a gold card in this set, which I might collect eventually, but again, you're not going to buy these packs just to pull it. So anyway, guys, that is our uh, number 17, but actually number 16, we have Darkness Ablaze. Yeah, I feel like people's opinions has drastically changed about this set because, you know, even though the Charizard in this set was once seen as a cool card. Uh, we've since seen much cooler versions of Charizard V, even the shiny version. We've got some alt arts. Yeah, and so like the main chase card really in the set is Charizard V Max. And uh, it's not really that expensive of a card anymore because uh, people have kind of lost their taste for it. But can we pull it today? Let's find out. Nope, just a Galarian Mr. Rhyme. And number 15, we do have the set to lead off this entire block. Of course, the Sword and Shield base set. Now, I don't hate this set. I think there actually are probably two chases that I like in this set, but they are a little bit difficult to pull. So for trying to uh, pull them from your packs, it's not always worth it. But again, there is a Zacian gold card, which I really like. I also happen to like the... Snorlax V Max card in this set. Uh, the rainbow one's not bad, but I actually do kind of like the original V Max. Let's see if we can pull either of those from our number 15 set. Well, we did get a hollow uh, Copperaja. Interesting. I promise you guys it's going to get better because, again, we're starting off with the worst ones, but we're going to be getting into some pretty interesting packs pretty soon. But next up, at number 14, is actually the set that had just released by the time that I had just got back into the hobby in 2021. Yeah, I haven't been in the hobby all that long. Battle Styles was the one that came out at that time, and honestly, I wasn't that impressed, uh, which is why it kind of makes it pretty low on this list. But there certainly are some cool chases in this card, or in this set, I mean. Uh, the main one being the Sleepy Tyranitar alt art, the actual first alt art of the Sword and Shield block. And there's also a really cool gold Houndoom. So I haven't pulled either of them myself, haven't collected them yet. So let's see if we can pull either of those from our Battle Styles pack today. We got a Bell Sprout, a Reverse Conkledor, and a Primate Non Hollow Rare. Nope, not today. And trigger alert for number 13 here. It's a set that people have gone nuts over. I have never quite understood it. People have been chasing that rainbow VMAX Pikachu from Vivid Voltage. Um, yeah, I just never really loved that chase card, and so this set hasn't really appealed to me all that much. So that's why it's pretty low on this list. But this set is not without some good qualities. It does have amazing rares in it, and they're not that easy to pull, quite frankly. 
they're really actually nice cards um, and so yeah I think between those uh, it is kind of nice that you can actually pull something potentially from the reverse spot something that a lot of these uh, sets can suffer from but again other than that you really only have the rainbow Pikachu V Max. Now, don't get me wrong, I would love to pull it today. I would definitely be stoked, but it's just not my cup of tea in general. But let's see, can we pull the rainbow Pikachu today? Oh, not the rainbow. What we did get a regular Pikachu V card. Not too bad. All right, next up, at number 12, we have a set that I probably opened up the least amount of all of these sets because. It did come out before I got back in the hobby, and the uh, Elite Trainer Boxes, which are the main uh, product for this set, they just skyrocketed in price. I'm talking about Champion's Path. So, you know, you can take all that for a grain of salt because my view might be tainted on it, but from what I can tell and from what I gather, um, there aren't a whole lot of chase cards in this set, and I think a lot of repeats. I think it can get a little bit dull to open because I think it might be a relatively small set. But the reason I do rank it a little bit higher than some of these other ones is because it does have two fantastic chase cards, which are, of course, the Charizards. You have the Rainbow VMAX Charizard, which I actually do like as a rainbow card. And then, of course, you have the shiny Charizard V. Both of those would be incredible to pull right now. And that really is the gamble of this set. I feel like that's all you're really after when you open up Champion's Path. So let's find out if we can get either of them today. We got a reverse Vulpix and in and off with, hey, of course, the Hollow Machamp. I'm pretty sure people nickname this set Machampion's Path for that very reason. And number 11 today, we have the set that came right off the back of two extremely popular sets and right off of the back of the mania of 2020 and 2021 which was fusion strike it came out right after celebrations and shortly before that was evolving skies two really really well received sets and so when this set came out you know it just uh it didn't quite do it for people i think people were a little bit tired after that now, this, uh, this set is kind of right in the middle of my list, or at least pretty close to the middle of the, my list, because it does have some phenomenal chase cards. Actually, two of my favorite alt arts, the Gengar and the Espeon VMAXs, are both incredible. I would love to pull one of those today, if possible. Um, the reason it's a little bit lower on the list, though, is those cards are so, so hard to pull. There's, uh, I would say, a few decent um, alternate arts besides those, but those are the two main ones that people are chasing. And uh, yeah, sometimes you're just opening and opening and not getting anything good. It's just uh, this, this set really suffers from, I think, not enough alt arts and no reverse spot hit. All right, guys, but let's see. Can we pull two of my favorite alternate arts from Fusion Strike, let's find out. We have <laughs> just a hollow Deoxys, that's all right. At number 10, we actually do have a set that has a trainer gallery, a reverse hit spot, uh, which definitely helps out the set a lot. I call it the most okayest set of the Sword and Shield era, Astral Radiance. Um, and I joke, it actually is a really, it's a pretty solid set. It's why it's ranked kind of right in the, the middle of our tier list here. Um, I think it do, does suffer from a lack of exciting, uh, super exciting chase cards, but it does have several really good chase cards, I would say. They're not like phenomenal, but they're pretty great. You got the Dialga Palkia, the Machamp, the Beedrill. I would love to get any one of those today. And then I think uh, a big hit of this one is Misty and uh, Starmie. Yeah, Starmie is the evolution. Yeah, so anyway, we got nothing in the reverse spot, which is a shame, but anyway, it does make this set a little bit more fun. Do we have anything cool today? Just an Ursa Luna non holo rare. All right, guys, we've already begun our top 10 countdown. We had Astral Radiance at number 10. At number 9, I am going to say Silver Tempest, a super cool set with the Lugias. It's kind of what everybody is chasing, of course. Of course, me, personally, I would be chasing 
the unknown V alt art if I hadn't already purchased it. So uh, yeah, but this is a great set. Not really a lot of bad things to say about it. I think the trainer gallery is one of the weaker trainer galleries of all of these ones that have a trainer gallery. However, it's definitely uh, made up by the fact that it has all the Lugias, the alt art, the gold, the rainbow, all the colors. So anyway, guys, have not pulled. Oh, okay, let's go. Oh, and this is our, that's right, this is our uh, trainer gallery hit. It threw me off. I was not expecting that. Oh, this is a beautiful card. V Blaziken VMAX. I actually pulled this card in uh, VMAX Climax when we opened the Japanese version. I'm actually really stoked to get the English one, though, because generally, if I had to choose, I will, uh, if they have a copy in both Japanese and English that look fairly similar, I'll collect the English. So that is an awesome hit. So we will see if we can get a double hit, though. On top of Blaziken, we have just a hollow uh, Terrakion, probably Terrakion or something like that. I don't know. All right, well, let's go. We got a pretty phenomenal hit from the Trainer Gallery. That's what you want to see from these sets, and that's why these sets are pretty great. All right, next up, number eight. Now, this is a, a set that I think is actually... Uh, some of you, again, you're going to be triggered, you're going to be annoyed that I'm ranking this set as high as it is, but it's probably the most underrated set of the entire Sword and Shield block, Chilling Rain. Again, this set has some phenomenal cards in it, phenomenal alt arts, plus a gold Snorlax that you can pull, and uh, has several cards that are still retaining a decent amount of value. I definitely love the Moltres alt art. And then I was fortunate enough to pull the uh, other Blaziken, the actual Blaziken Alt Art V Max from this set. So those are some really solid ones. Let's see if we can pull any of the Galarian Birds because I've never pulled them from the set itself. But yeah, guys, I just personally like this set, even though it doesn't have a trainer gallery. I think uh, again, my argument is if if Evolving Skies is going to get as much love as it does, I feel like this set deserves uh, not an equal amount of love, but a decent amount of love to go along with it. So anyway, let's see what we have. Cast Form, Rainy Form, Reverse Thwacky, and a Halu. Halo. <laughs> Halu. Halu Tapu. <laughs> Halo Tapu Fini. Very nice. Well, don't go away, guys. We are about to share what we rank at number seven on our list. But first of all, I wanted to take a quick break here in the middle for a public service announcement. Of course, if you guys are like me, you probably have not pulled all of your chase cards from the Sword and Shield era yet, even though it is ending and we'll never be able to see them again. Just kidding, obviously you can keep uh, trying to open these packs, but if you want a better way, if you actually want to purchase the singles and actually get them for a deal, I recommend checking out the WhatNot app. Those of you who watch the channel know that I use WhatNot a lot, and it's basically the app featuring live streamed auctions where you, you can bid on Pokemon cards and often get some pretty great deals. And these are actually several Pokemon cards that I got some great deals on. Most of them were either right at market or most of them are actually way below market that I purchased them for at auction. So I definitely love the app and recommend it. And actually, if you use my link in the description below, you can get a $10 credit towards your purchase on there. So anyway, I definitely recommend Whatnot. Here's some of the cards that we've even mentioned so far, um, including this unknown V. Again, that's a sick card. Well, like I said, guys, we are down to our final seven in our tier list today. And number seven on our list is another specialty set. We have Shining Fates. Now this is a, a set that has just, I've just broken my back over because I've been trying to pull that shiny Charizard from it. And uh, it's been fun. Um, however, I think the only reason that this set doesn't get ranked a little bit higher is because some of the other cards in this set, first of all, they're not expensive at all. Like they've really gone down in price. Probably the only other one of note is maybe the Suicune Baby Shiny. A lot of the cards in this set, uh, because they're not really Kanto Pokemon, I don't get so super excited about, but it's all about that Charizard Chase. So we're here yet again doing it at number seven. 
Let's see if we can pull a Charizard or at least another baby shiny. Let's see if we can pull something cool from our Charizard pack. We got Cacnea and, okay, nope, nope, no Charizard, of course. Just a reverse coughing and ending off with a professor's research. The hunt continues. I'm at the point where I probably will have to go purchase the single for that and maybe I'll be able to find it on whatnot for a deal. All right, guys, but number six, believe it or not, is Pokemon Go. Again, another controversial uh, pick, I know. But hey, I actually really liked this set and I think it has a lot going for it. I think it's going to be a lot more um, sought after in the future. I could be wrong, but it's still obviously really readily available. But I think it's a really fun one. It has some really nice cards in it. All the Kanto starter uh, reading cards, including the Charizard, are I think incredible. And of course it has Dragonite, my personal favorite. I still haven't pulled that rainbow one. Hopefully we can do that today. It's also got the Mewtwo alt art, the Mewtwo gold card. And one I did pull was the Mewtwo uh, rainbow rare, which is, believe it or not, a pretty sick rainbow rare, even though I don't usually like them. So anyway, guys, I do uh, actually, I'm working on a master set for this one as well. So I would love to pull at least something that I haven't pulled yet. So let's see what we have. Just a reverse hollow Charmander, but we are ending off today with, oh, just a hollow Melmetal. Too bad, but like I said, I do enjoy this uh, set right here. Let me know if you are one of the few who like this set as much as I do in the comments below. All right, now we are down to our top five. What do you think we got for number five? None other than Lost Origin. Another phenomenal set. I really do like this one a lot. I personally am chasing that Alt Art Aerodactyl. Uh, and I also want to get the VMAX Pikachu as well. So hopefully we can do that today. Yeah, but this one has, I think, some really solid uh, chases. But it also has a really great um, trainer gallery. And actually having a card like the VMAX Pikachu that has an, it's kind of an expensive trainer gallery one is uh, definitely unique for this set. Anyway, let's see if we can pull anything cool here. Mawile, Slugma, Clefairy, Roselia. Okay, nothing in the trainer gallery this time. Too bad. And do we got the Aerodactyl today? Nope, but a pretty cool hollow Hisuian Arcanine. All right, Legends, number four. We have the newest set, Crown Zenith. Now, I know some of you are probably going to say, but this is the best set of all time. It's not just the best set of Sword and Shield, it's the best set ever. I mean, it just came out, guys. You gotta give it a little bit of a, a break. I am have tried my best, and it, even my vision is blurred, obviously. But I've tried my best to look at this from that perspective to see if we can think of it how it may be accepted in the long term. And uh, I think uh, listing at number four I think is a solid choice compared to the last few that we have today. And so, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe my, um, maybe my perspective will change on it after I get to open it a little bit more than I have so far. But it definitely is a super fun set. And uh, yeah, definitely some cool chases, that Mewtwo V-Star alts, or whatever they call them in this set. And those little, those gold cards are cool. I think I really want the um, Glaceon and the uh, Leafeon, those ones would be sweet. Oh, nice, we got a pretty cool one here, Magnezone. That is sweet. And uh, this is part of the Galarian Gallery, the 18 out of 70. This is awesome. I like this one a lot. All right. Do we have a double hit today? We have a Tapu Lele. Interesting. I didn't know that was in this set. Kind of cool. We will totally take that. I'm definitely a big fan of not only the Kanto Pokemon, but their evolutions that maybe came in a later generation. All right, guys. Now, number three. Uh, again, this one's going to be controversial. Some of you are probably going to say that this next one is the best of the Sword and Shield era. Of course, any one of these probably could be. It's all opinion anyway. But guys, at number three, 
I'm going with Evolving Skies. Yes, the set that everyone loses their minds over, including myself. I do love some Evolving Cries. It's good to cry every once in a while because the alt arts in this set speak for themselves. And of course, people love the evolutions. Of course, I am also still chasing that Dragonite V alt art. Can we pull anything like that today? Unfortunately, the chances are slim, but it's all about the gamble. That's why we open Evolving Skies. Let's see what we got for our third best set in the Sword and Shield era. Lily Pup, Amolga, Nuzleaf, and ending off. Okay, nothing crazy, just a Tropius. All right, and finally, on to our last two. Be curious to know which one you would choose as being better than the other. It's a tough one for me. It really is. I would say, and of course I did a video on this, that of course Brilliant Stars is my favorite out of all of the main set, Sword and Shield sets. Of course, Celebrations being a specialty set. And so in the end though, I'm gonna have to go with Brilliant Stars being number two. That's right, we have Celebrations at number one, which we will of course talk about in a moment, but let's first enjoy some Brilliant Stars. I've said it before, but I think that this set has everything. It has a trainer gallery with the reverse spot hit with some really crazy hits that you can get, including some evolutions. Uh, that, of course, uh, Umbreon VMAX is a pretty cool one in this one. Uh, but you also have the gold Galarian birds. You also have the alt arts. You got the Arceus and none other than the Charizard V, which I'm still trying to pull. So let's see if we can do it in our opening today. Nothing in the reverse spot and ending this pack with Okay, nice. All right, we'll take it. I've never pulled this one. We got the regular Charizard V. And again, that's kind of the crazy thing about this set. It's the Charizard set. I think there are like, there's at least four Charizards. Uh, or maybe there are five. Let's see, you got the V. You got the um, V full art. You got the V star, you got the V star rainbow, and you got the uh, the alt art. Yeah, that's crazy. So, always some cool surprises in this set, in my opinion. I think Brilliant Stars is a fantastic one, and uh, yeah, I will continue chasing that Charizard personally as long as the set is in print. But there's also one other Charizard that we will be chasing until the end of time, it would seem and that is from Pokemon Celebrations. This is the 25th anniversary commemorative set that featured reprints from across the years, and I think it just is a, just a really fun set. Uh, you can pull um, just even the, the, the cheaper classic collection cards from this set are just fun to pull. Um, but of course, not only do you have the Charizard, but you have the base set starters, Venusaur and Blastoise. You also have the unique Umbreon Gold Star. Yeah, I definitely have a lot of fond memories opening this set, which is why it makes it to number one on our list. But let's go ahead and open up the last the last card on our Sword and, Sh Sword and Shield list. First of all, we'll hand you a code card there. Let's see what we have here. Xerneas, Yvetzel, and we are chasing the Charizard. If we have one, it'll be in this next spot. We have, ooh, okay, nice. All right, I have never pulled this one, guys. This is a sweet one, Mew EX. So not the Charizard, but a really nice one to end off the video. Of course, in this video, or in this, uh, not in this video, in this pack, you have the potential for a double hit. 
Um, of course, the main one we're looking for is the Gold Mew. So let's see if we have a double hit today. We're ending off with not a Gold Mew, but we did get a double hit after all. Professor's Research and Mew EX. This is a pretty sweet one from the Classic Collection. Well, there you have it. We have opened every single set from Sword and Shield. Well, it has been real. We course got back into collecting Pokemon cards during Sword and Shield so thank you Sword and Shield for all the good times and the memories now let me know what you think about this ranking of all the Sword and Shield era sets in the comments below give this video a thumbs up and subscribe below to support the channel and check out one of these videos here on screen if you like Pokemon card content lastly I want to let you know that no matter what you're going through you are not alone God is with you and he loves you and we do too I'll catch you next time.